Each ten-word tale is written using ten words suggested by children. Where's the Wandle Worm is inspired by ten words chosen by Janelle, Year 2, Hillbrook Primary School, Rumesa, Year 4, Singlegate Primary School, and Zonaira, Reception, Singlegate Primary School. Can you spot these words? Food, life, presence, party, good day, happiness, rainbow, tree, queen, love. Where's the Wandle Worm? by Julie Sharp. It was a warm sunny day. Inside Wandsworth Library, the two librarians, Vera Vellum and Meta Data, were putting the finishing touches to their summer book display. Every year they chose one of the library's oldest books to put on show for visitors. This year they had chosen a book from 1737 called The Wandle Worm. Today they were expecting an important visitor. Vera was wearing her favourite summer dress in rainbow colours. Meta wore her favourite jeans and a cool blue top with a palm tree and a parrot on the pocket. The visitor was Mr Rubric, the London's chief librarian. They had tidied every shelf, Vera getting rid of old tattered volumes and Meta dusting vigorously. They wanted the library to look its very splendid best. The Wandle Worm, white leather cover with gold edges, by William Weldon, published in 1737, told of a huge freshwater eel caught where the River Wandle meets the Thames. The display included old pictures of the eel, called a water worm, looking like a monster, its long body rippling and its mouth agape. The worm looks horrible, said Meta, but the display looks great. At ten o'clock, Mr Rubric arrived. He congratulated them on the display and on the state of the library. Always good to trim your shelves of old volumes, he said. Meta thought guiltily of the old books Vera had thrown out. Meta had rescued them from the bin and taken them home. Mr Rubric also congratulated them on their security. There have been some strange thefts from libraries in London over the last few months, he said. I'm glad to see your precious book in a glass case. I'm sure you keep the key somewhere safe. Vera laughed nervously. The key was at this moment in the pocket of her dress and she began to wonder if she had definitely locked the glass case. Once Mr Rubric had left, Vera dashed back to the display. Meta heard a scream. She rushed to see what was wrong. The glass case was open. Stuck to the case was a note. Vera was in a faint on the floor and the wandle worm had gone. <laughs>